viewer has asked the question, is there scriptural support for church membership? I think it's first important for us to define the word church. The Bible speaks of church as being an ecclesia, a body of believers. No place in the church is this um, thought of as a place in which somebody congregates, a building or a location. It's always a body of local believers that have joined themselves together for the purpose of the gospel, for edification, for worship, and all that they do within that body. It's not a place we attend. It's a, it's a body we belong to. The Bible says several times in the book of Acts that um, people were added to this church at Jerusalem. In Acts chapter 2, and there were 3,000 souls saved and they were added to them. And Jesus said, in the, and the Bible says, and the Lord added to the church such as should be saved. They fellowshiped, they, were, they taught the word, they enjoyed the Lord's Supper, and they prayed together. They were ob obviously a body of believers. And in, in Ephesians chapter 4, the Bible makes it very plain here in, in um, Ephesians chapter 4 that the whole body being fitly joined together. Um, it explicitly uses the term joined together. Um, I think we can draw from that a scriptural conclusion that God wants us to be uh, members of a church, to, be, to join the church, to be joined together. That word joined together means connected by a bond. It means committed to each other. It means dependent upon each other. And so these individuals were uh, a part of this local body. They weren't just attenders, but they were joined to it. That the word members is, is used several times in the scripture, in the book of Romans and 1 Corinthians, and again in, in, in the book of Ephesians, the word member is used. Sometimes, of course, we think of the word member as, as, a, as a part of something, but truly uh, it carries the connotation of being a member of the local church. And then um, the, the scriptures use the example of marriage. Now, obviously in scripture, we don't find any... Um, verses that talk about a marriage license per se, but we know that it's God's will for individuals to be married and not just live together. Similarly, we draw the conclusion that God wants us to be part of a body of believers in a local assembly and not just attend a church, not just to go from fellowship to fellowship. Uh, that would be like living together versus marriage. God wants each believer to be a part of a local body of believers which they, whereby they grow. They're under the leadership of a pastor. They, their spiritual gifts are developed and they become useful to the cause of Christ in reaching souls, both in their Jerusalem, Judea, and Samaria, and even to the uttermost part of the earth. I believe there are plenty of grounds for scriptural, a scriptural basis for people to say that we should be a member of a local church.